Hey there students, today on the Mr. Sin channel we're taking a really quick look at a multinational corporation. We'll be talking about what a multinational corporation is and why some people like them and why some people don't. Multinational corporations exist and operate in a variety of countries throughout the world. Now, multinational corporations have their own legal status then for each country that they're operating in. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a corporation being a person and legal status, check out my corporation video. We went into that in detail. You can click on the card in the top right to see that. But multinational corporations are really important. They actually provide a lot of opportunity to the diffusion of new ideas, goods and services, and money. They have the ability to sell products in a variety of countries and take things from other countries and sell them then to new countries. This is diffusion, the spread of. They also can move money around. So an example of this would be if a company in Canada wanted to open a plant in England. They could decide to sell bonds in England, so they take out a loan, they'll start paying that back, they'll create this plant, and maybe some of those goods from England then get sold to the rest of Europe. And so we start to see this diffusion. And you can see right there some advantages to a multinational corporation. It can create wealth for countries. It can create new goods and services. We'll see more production. We can also see the spread of all of these ideas and goods to other countries, which can benefit them, especially if countries are currently lacking a particular good or service that they just weren't that good at specializing in. Now, some of the disadvantages are that people can get upset that companies will come in and take over small local businesses. It also can start controversy when we have corporations that will use the tax codes and also the regulation laws of countries to their benefit in sometimes not the most socially moral way. For example, companies in the United States that go overseas into Asia to create sweatshops that can fund their products for cheaper and then import them back into the United States. So that way they have bigger profit margins. Or companies that'll go to areas with lower environmental restrictions so that way they can pollute and create products cheaper without having to worry about protecting the environment. So that's some of the disadvantages and why sometimes people don't like multinational corporations. Again, though, there's a bunch of positive examples. A lot of people welcome them because it brings new tax revenue. If you are a corporation and you are existing and operating in a different country, well, you have to pay taxes and your money goes into that local economy. Now, some of it also, though, goes back to your original country of where you're producing, and we'll get into all that stuff later on when we talk about GDP and GNP. If you need information on that, click the card on the top right. So hopefully you can kind of see some of the things going on with multinational corporations. They're great at diffusing ideas, products, and money, but at the same time too, there's some social costs that can come with it. With now a company moving in and maybe creating sweatshops or taking advantage of laws that maybe don't protect the citizens of that country as well as a different country would have. I hope you have a good understanding now of just what a multinational corporation is and exactly what are some of the pros and cons to it. Why some people would accept them and why others don't like them at all. Until next time, I will see you online. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe on your way out.